Hi, I'm Luke Lango, and this is Investor Place Quick Picks, where we communicate to you some of the market's best investment ideas in just 10 minutes. America's leading innovation investor, Luke Lango's Investor Place Quick Picks. Today, we're gonna to talk about the most exciting company in the red hot electric vehicle space. A company that clocks in as my number one EV stock to buy for the long haul. The name, Canoe, ticker G-O-E-V, Go EV. So as we are all aware, tech stocks have had a mini meltdown in late February and early March thanks to rising interest rates. This meltdown has created golden buying opportunities in some of the world's most innovative and transformative companies. One of them, indeed probably the best of them, is Canoe, a nascent pre-production electric vehicle company that I view as arguably the most innovative company in the world with the potential to fundamentally change everything we know about the automotive market. This is a stock I'd be buying big on the current dip. Here's why. Now, a lot of folks ask me why I'm so bullish on Canoe stock, and the answer is super simple. Because this is the EV company from the future. That is, Canoe is hyper-focused on reimagining everything about the auto industry to create a new auto market that is smarter, safer, more efficient, more affordable, and ultimately better. It all starts, of course, with Canoe fundamentally rethinking the design of a legacy car. The company has constructed a proprietary and scalable modular skateboard platform that is uniquely designed to optimize the space of a vehicle. It has low floors, a wide base, and features the market's first steer to wheel platform, which essentially removes all the motors from the hood of the car. This design allows Canoe to push the front two passenger seats right up to the front of the vehicle, push out the sides of the vehicle right to the edge of the platform, and essentially eliminates all wasted space in a traditional car design. Because this platform is scalable, it can be used to create multiple new vehicle types. Of course, first and foremost, there's the lifestyle vehicle, which looks, acts, and feels more like a loft on wheels than a car. It's spacious with a semicircle booth in the back, tons of leg room, and tons of space for luggage, bags, bikes, etc. It's also uniquely designed to be relaxed and worked in, not to be driven, and is therefore purpose-built for the era of self-driving, wherein we will be relaxing and working in our cars, not driving them. There's also the delivery vehicle, which is geometrically designed to maximize cargo volume per unit length. Indeed, when it comes to cubic meters of cargo volume per meter of length, Canoe's delivery vehicle beats the competition by more than 10%. That's a big deal because basically what it means is it allows Canoe to build smaller, cheaper delivery vans that can carry just as much cargo as their bigger, more expensive counterparts. Now, there's also the pickup truck, recently announced pickup truck. Same story here. I mean, because the vehicle platform has zero wasted space, Canoe's pickup truck maximizes storage volume per unit length, which as any truck owner will tell you, is a huge advantage. Now, you get the point. By creating a transformative and highly scalable EV skateboard platform that eliminates wasted space from a car, Canoe is in a great position to design a new generation of superior vehicles with a broad range of value adds and applications. So Canoe's innovation, it doesn't stop with just making a new class of vehicles. I know for a lot of companies, it would be that breakthrough revolutionary uh, innovation and then stop, not Canoe. And that's another reason I love this company. See, Canoe is also reimagining how we buy and sell cars. Traditionally, consumers either owned or leased a vehicle. 
Canoe is disrupting the status quo with a pure subscription model. It's basically a direct-to-consumer leasing model without a down payment and with a minimum term of just one month. So say you want a Canoe vehicle. You download the Canoe app, you apply to be a member, once approved, you pick your Canoe vehicle on the app, you select the time frame and months, you go to a pickup location, you pick up your canoe, you pay to use it for the amount of months that you subscribe to, and then you return it toward to the pickup location at the end of the subscription. Minimum term, again, just one month. Now this new transportation as a service, TAS, business model is genius for two reasons. One, it's significantly higher margin. Because Canoe essentially resells the same vehicle multiple times throughout its life, the company generates significantly more revenue per vehicle than a legacy OEM on the same cost basis, which leads to four times the margins on each vehicle made for Canoe. That's big, it's a big delta. Now, the second reason is that this subscription model aligns with today's consumer interest. I mean, just look around you. Everything is a subscription these days. Your shopping with Amazon, your movies with Netflix, your music with Spotify, your workouts with Peloton, your kids' education with Chegg. Why not your car? Indeed, that's the direction we are heading in. And Canoe is leading the way. Okay, so with Canoe, you have this new class of technologically superior electric vehicles, this new model for buying cars that better aligns with shifting consumer demand. All of that sounds great, but it's also all meaningless unless Canoe has the talent to execute on this grand vision to reinvent the automotive market. But make no mistake, if there's one thing Canoe does not lack, its talent. This may be the most talented management team assembled in the EV space outside of Tesla and maybe Lucid Motors. So here's the story. Once upon a time, a company by the name of Faraday Future was widely considered to be Tesla's biggest potential rival in the EV space. Having recruited an army of super talented engineers and designers to create a best in class premium electric vehicle. But the company stumbled, mostly due to some CEO related problems, and a lot of the talent that once made Faraday Futures so great has since gone elsewhere. As it happens, a lot of that talent ended up going to Canoe. And that's because Canoe's CEO and founder is the former CTO of Faraday Future. Before that, he spent over 30 years at BMW and Mini and was the development lead on the BMW i3, i8, Z3, and more. He's a very, very smart, very, very well-respected guy in the EV space. So when he left Faraday Future, a lot of the top talent at Faraday followed him out the door. The design lead at Canoe was once the VP of design at Faraday Future. The guy in charge of Canoe's skateboard and body architecture is a former Tesla and SpaceX engineer who, you guessed it, was the director of body structure at Faraday Future. Vehicle trim lead Christoph Kuttner is a former Tesla engineer. He also led trim design at Faraday Future. And guess what? Same story with the guy in charge of vehicle architecture. He's a former Tesla engineer, turned senior director of vehicle engineering at Faraday Future, turned vehicle architecture lead at Canoe. The list goes on and on. These are talented folks. They're some of the most capable folks in the EV industry with lots of experience. If any team is going to execute on Canoe's vision of revolutionizing the auto industry, it's these guys. With the talent and vision, Canoe has what it takes to fundamentally disrupt everything we know about cars. Does that mean Canoe is the next Tesla? No, 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 I won't go that far, but it does mean that when all is said and done, when the EV race is over, Canoe 
has a really, really good chance to emerge as a major player in the EV market. Now, assuming the company now is between 1% to 2% of the consumer vehicle market and about 5% of the commercial vehicle market, so pretty conservative assumptions, then my modeling suggests Canoe is on track to net around $2.5 billion in profits by 2030. Put a 20x multiple on that, and you're talking a potential future valuation of $50 billion. On the current share count, that implies a long-term price target for Canoe stock of $200. And again, that's under conservative assumptions. Well, that's all we have for this edition of Investor Place Quick Picks. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash that like button, or follow me on Twitter where I love to engage with fans, readers, investors, critics, you name it, I love to engage. Um, well, until next time, cheers, happy investing to all.